Welcome back, everybody. My name is Jeff Jewett, and I'm coming to you today from the home of Jewett Guitars and Homestead Finishing Products in Cleveland, Ohio. In this video, we're going to show you the basics of how to do a sunburst finish on a guitar. We'll feature both acoustic guitars, and later on in the video, we're going to show you some electrics. Before I get into the basics and the materials and things like that, though, I want to talk a little bit about these two guitars I have on my bench because they cover a wide range of sunburst finishes. This is the very first sunburst finish I did many, many years ago. This one is the most recent. Now back when I did this triple O, about all I knew about doing a sunburst finish was that you put some sort of a color in some thin lacquer and you sprayed it on and you know, you just tried to make what you thought was a nice sunburst on it. I didn't know anything beyond that. And as a result, I sprayed the sunburst right over this pretty rosette. A rosette should pop out at you. This one doesn't. It's not bad, but it's not as good as it should be. The second mistake I made was when I went to scrape the finish off the bindings, I scraped too deep and I put a ledge in the plastic binding. And that was almost impossible to fix correctly. So as a result, I wound up spraying a satin finish over the entire instrument. Now, all that said, I like this finish, or I like this sunburst. It has kind of a nice, soft, vintage, old-timey vibe that I really sort of like. This guitar, I have a very pretty abalone rosette on, and I didn't want to cover that up, so I knew how to tape it off correctly. We're going to show you how to do that. On this guitar, we also have wooden purfling and wooden binding. That's really tricky to deal with when you're doing a sunburst finish, and I'm going to show you proper masking techniques so that you get a beautiful, clean look on your bindings as well as your ros rosette. I want to impress upon you a couple of things. Number one, if you can build a guitar, you can do a sunburst. It's just that simple. You may not think you're the greatest finisher in the world, but after watching this video, you'll have the confidence to do it. The second thing is, watch this video from the beginning to the end. There's going to be little nuggets of information interspersed throughout the whole video, and I don't want you to miss anything. So all that said, let's start by showing you the two props we're going to use for the acoustic section of this video. These are the two acoustics we're going to be using for the acoustic sunburst section. They're identical L00 copies, with the exception this one has plastic binding and a plastic rosette. This one has wooden binding and a wooden rosette. This one we're going to do a hand application of the sunburst. This one we're going to do a sprayed application. I've got plastic on this one because that's about the only way that you can effectively not have the sunburst material color the binding and the rosette. You have to use plastic. When you spray a sunburst on you can mask that off and whether it's wood or plastic it'll be fine. This one, I won't show you much masking technique. This one, I will. Before we get too deep, though, into the basics of the tools and materials and techniques, I do want to talk a little bit about the history of sunbursts. Sunburst finishes first started appearing on Gibson mandolins in 1921, the famous Cremona Brown as we know it today. As that finish, or that sunburst, became popular with the public, undoubtedly it became available on other models such as arch tops and flat tops. Martin followed after that in the late 20s, maybe early 30s, when both companies first started spraying finishes instead of applying finishes by hand. But keep this in mind, the very first Gibson sunbursts were applied by hand. And we're going to show you a hand application on this guitar here. Sprayed finishes we'll show you on this guitar. So, with all that kind of in mind, let's get into the materials you're going to be using, the tools, the techniques, 
and then we'll get into showing you the basics of how to do a sunburst finish on an acoustic guitar. Later on in this video, as I mentioned, we'll show you some electric versions and that's an opportunity for you to get a little bit wild and crazy with your sunburst technique if you so choose to do.